crackberry.com. Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for crackberry.com. I'm going to check out the BlackBerry Bold 9650 from Verizon, do a little, uh, a little Bold 9650 basics. This is the device itself. Um, you notice I replaced the, uh, the back door. I have uh, a cover on from the tour. I don't like the uh, feel all the time of the rubberized door, so I threw a different battery door on there. But um, you can see the device itself, convenience key there. We have our optical trackpad keyboard, which I like a lot. And we have our uh, uh, micro USB charging port, convenience key there, volume buttons headset jack and then the uh, standby mute buttons up on the top there so that is the device itself very cool device pretty much exactly the same design as the original tour sans uh, trackball and some software tweaks uh, if we pop the door off here we can see we have the battery here I have an extended battery and so it looks a little different SIM card slot if you're going to travel overseas you can unlock the device and use it on foreign carriers and then we have our memory card slot there and then our uh, you know, camera flash up top. So that's pretty much it as far as the design of the device. We'll pop open the OS here. Um, I've changed up the wallpaper, but everything else is pretty much the same as out of the box. Some of the icons have been moved around, but um, the main things on the device that come pre-installed, we have a, there's a messages application, we have the SMS, MMS icon here, contact list, which is the address book, uh, the BlackBerry calendar, which is extremely useful. I never used to use it in the past, but it's actually done quite well for me. I sync it with uh, with iCal now and keep everything straight, so it definitely helps keep me organized. And we have our browser here, um, which is just the standard internet browser. So once you're up and registered, you'll have that. The, uh, the icon will show up, so it might not show up at first um, when you first pull out of the box, but once the device is activated and everything gets squared away, then uh, you'll see the browser icon push up there. So um, that's the CrackBerry mobile site there. And as we move along here, we have uh, VZ Navigator. A lot of these icons you're going to see when you come straight out of the box with this device or any device. They're just shortcuts to download the actual application. So be it you know, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, whatever it is, they're going to push a bunch of um, application icons they want you to download. So here we see we have VZ Navigator and stuff like um, the VCast song ID, the VCast videos. So any of these icons, if we click on them, that's going to actually jump you into the browser and bring you to an agreement page for the download. Um, and then if you go through, it's going to ask you to download the application. So it's just kind of stuff that they want you to have. They make it easy to get to. Um, and the solution to that, if you don't want the <clears throat> application, unfortunately, you can't delete the icons um, without removing the service books, at which point they'll come back eventually. So the easiest way, highlight the application there, click hide and it'll be out of sight, out of mind. It's still on the device, but it's not really taking up any application space or anything like that, so um, it just kind of gets it out of the way. And if we want to see it again, we hit the BlackBerry button, click Show All, and you can see they're faded out here, the ones that are hidden. So if for some reason you need to get at it again, you'll still be able to find it. Um, so as we keep running through here, and we can see, like I said, we have the VZ Navigator, which is uh, from Verizon for a monthly fee. Same with Visual Voicemail. Um, then we have the native clock application, which is installed, which is very cool. I have it set for bedside mode, so when the device is plugged in, um, in my charging pot at night, the clock will show up. You can use that for your alarms. It's got a stopwatch timer feature, all kinds of cool stuff on there. Uh, back into our media folder, we see we have music, videos, pictures, um, your video camera, uh, ringtones, everything's going to fall right into here. Um, so it just has everything laid out. And nice one easy stop there in the folder. And we have our camera, BlackBerry App World, uh, the search, instant messages. Again here these are um, just shortcuts to download the applications. There's Windows Live, Yahoo, Google Talk, and AOL Instant Messenger. And then the BlackBerry Messenger is in the instant messaging folder as well. Um, and then we have our applications folder, um, all pre-installed um, with the shortcut icons here to download our Flickr, Facebook, MySpace, and then there's the memo pad, calculator, um, documents to go, the free versions installed so you can edit Word files, Excel files. Um, and we have our voice dialing, password keeper, another one I never used to use before. Um, and this is actually one that I moved off my main screen is the messages folder. This is where all your um, emails collectively land. You can set things like the Twitter application, Twitter for BlackBerry, uh, Facebook, 
BlackBerry Messenger, a lot of stuff to land in the one spot. So depending on how you like to use your device, um, you can have everything integrated right in the messages, which is what I do, or you can have individual folders. So um, I remove the downloads folder, so everything third-party wise I downloaded is going to show right on the home screen here. You can see I have you know Foursquare, Quick Launch, the Gmail app, different stuff. But you can uh, specify where those land, um, and we can actually choose to move things around. So we can take our Berry Buzz icon here and do a little move to folder, and then you can scroll through, pick anywhere to go. We'll drop it in the applications, and then we go back up in there. We can see it's hidden away in the uh, applications folder. To move the icons around as well, just highlight the icon, click move, slide it anywhere you want. And this is how we organize the home screen. So everybody has their own little way they like to do the uh, the home screen customization. So just give a quick little highlight, click move, and then you can pop anything anywhere you need to go. So you can get it all organized. Um, you can create folders. If you highlight the folder when you're doing that, you can pick different colors. There's a couple with different icons. you know, And then you can just call it whatever you want. We'll do one called the apps. And then it pops right up on there. And if we want to move something into it, move to folder and it'll get dumped right into the folder. And on the same note too, if you delete a folder, anything that's in it is going to be pushed out to your home screen. So it gives you a quick little warning message. We'll do a delete. And then we see all the instant message apps that were in that folder are going to get dumped out right into the home screen there. So that's pretty much it as far as the uh, the installed applications. Um, once you get your email set up, you can actually, BlackBerry made it a lot easier than it used to be. They have the uh, email settings icon. Just click right on that. Um, and that'll bring you into a menu. It'll allow you to add uh, easily your Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, or any other email address. Um, and once you get it set up through there, it's going to push the icon right onto your home screen, and your email will be up and running. So that's pretty much it. There's tons more you can check out. Um, we have a lot of BlackBerry 101s on CrackBerry.com, all kinds of help videos and tutorials. But hopefully this will give you a little bit of a better idea if you're a new BlackBerry user how to get up and running on your new BlackBerry Bold 9650.